Luke and Lewis on Triple M Modern Digital. Take that, ice cream dudes, because we've got the biggest show since the last biggest show. The I biggest actually, show yet. That's I actually what I think say. I'm going to make a big call. No, it's not even a big call. I'm going to make a pretty accurate call and mm. say this is the biggest ever Luke and Lewis show yet. Oh, yeah. What's to come? Definitely, because we have a massive announcement. We're trying to pull off many things throughout this show. There has been some relevations during the day. I've been... Some relevations have there. Revelations. Oh. Hmm. Guys, it might be the biggest show, but that doesn't mean that Luke's going to say all the words right, okay? (laughs) It's the gibbous show of the year. Guys, don't believe the saying because lightning does strike more than once, sometimes twice, but we've got official confirmation from Radio Mike that lightning strikes three times. Now, we've talked about this twice already on the show. Radio Mike is the least assertive man in this building. (laughs) And to the point where people have started to say, there's another Michael in the building. There's a Michael Parente and there's a Michael Liberale. We've got the Liberale one. Michael Parente, not even in the building. Oh yeah. He's in a different state. Different state. (laughs) Doesn't work here. No. Works for the company in a different state. And some people here have started to call Mike, our Michael Parente. And he has not corrected them. Has this has happened twice. Has it happened again? So Mike texts oh, no. me today <laughs> and he goes, Michael Parente round three just happened. I'll tell you later. <laughs> and I was like, don't tell me later. We'll just talk about it when we're on air. So Mike, turn your mic on. Hello. How are you? What's how happening, you going, Parente? Parente? So I was minding my own Good business. Good synchronicity. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's uh, his name. I was just trying to be respectful. <laughs> I was in the office minding my own business as I always do. Just Well, yeah. You don't talk around. to anyone because you're just too scared of confrontation. Well, yeah. Unless and, you're well, apologizing to someone for nothing. <laughs> well, I was actually sitting with... Uh, <laughs> Tom. Or turning down a muffin. Sorry. You can <laughs> I was sitting with Tom and Ollie, another show on mm. Triple M and their producer, and we were just having a Why were you up. hanging out with them? Oh, they just were around the area that oh, I was okay. in, so we just uh, got talking. I'm not happy about this, but go on. All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> How dare you have other friends? <laughs> well, you'll, you'll be pleased to know that they weren't the culprit of this. Now, the culprit of this is Lee Simon, mm. quite a quite a well-known broadcaster. He was uh, he was content director of Triple M for a while, and he looks after all the AFL. Right. I panel a lot of the AFL for Triple M. You've been doing that job for months. I've been doing it since last year, 12 yeah. months, over 12. Right? Okay, over a year you've been doing this job and he's <laughs> and, your boss for that job. And I've worked frequently with Lee and I talk to him when I see him in the office no. and he walks past, but th- get this, this is what he got, he says. And and Tom and Ollie and their producer, Bell, can all vouch for what was said because we were yeah. so confused by it. But he just goes, I, I saw him walk past and I said, hey, Lee, how are you, mate? And he goes, Michael Parali, how are you, mate? <laughs> So you got Parale, not so Parente. It's like he thought Parente, but then realized his error and corrected it. Well, then this isn't... This 2.5. Isn't, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. He only got halfway there. So really, this is 2.5. So yeah, lightning generally could strike two and a half times, but never three. Never third. Unless he says <laughs> Liberente, lib- liberente <laughs> and then it's three. <laughs> is that the whole story? Well, then we kind of all looked at each other confused. and <laughs> That's the and, whole story. And Tom was, was like, like, what did he call you? I'm like, I don't know, like Parali or something? And yeah, uh, yeah it was just a... For those who don't know, his name's Liberali. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I'm Lee glad Lewis. you brought that one to the show. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Did you just try and end it? Because you were like, we need to get out of here to a song. This is no, I appreciate your, your effort in trying to get us out of an awful segment, but <laughs> you are the one who got us here in the first place. Now I'm going to end it. I want you to sit in your, I want to sit in your bad segment for a bit longer. <laughs> what would you rate that segment out of 10? I think it had a good start, but the ending, the punchline wasn't as good as yeah. it should have been. I, I it really paralleled, you could say, at the end. <laughs> I would argue that there was no punchline. It hasn't happened yet. Well, the punchline I'm was that waiting. he called me Parali. Oh, mm. I thought that was going to be a massive laugh, and then we're out there. I thought you were going to call it, but you didn't, and I sort of had to keep trailing on. And you're still trailing on, aren't and, you? And yet well, here we I, are. I've tried to end it, and you wouldn't let me. Yeah, that's well, true. I did do I that. It? Luke, mm. should, should we end it? Or should he end it, or should I? Why don't we all end it? Okay. No. Well, shh, shh. you have no part in this now. You no, ruined this I'm, segment I'm about a minute my, ago. <laughs> I'm now on Mike's side. I believe we should end it. Yeah. I can't <laughs> <laughs> Luke and Lewis. It's time for the biggest announcement on the biggest show that we've ever done. Yes. Or I probably mean, the only announcement, actually. We thought, I mean, usually the biggest moment on the show would have been perhaps a Parente part three or part two and a half, as it turned out to be. Well, that would have been the biggest moment if yes. it was part three, but we only got 2.5. Nah. We'll let this, you know if we get to three. This is still 
bigger than a third parente. Yeah, what I we're think about so, to guys. say is big news. All right, and we teased it yesterday, and we we're going to talk about it yesterday, and then we just forgot. We got distracted <laughs> and forgot, as usual. Um, oh, okay, I'm I'm ready to say it. Are you ready? I'm going to say it. Yep. Uh, we are leaving modern digital. But it's a good thing because the reason why we are leaving is because we are getting many more opportunities on our Fox so, show. So we're moving up. We're not leaving radio. No. We are leaving Triple M Modern Digital. We will no longer be amplifying the now. In no. Tam- I think it's my June 1st will be the last show. Yeah, June 1st Rings is going to be the last the show. Friday. I think so. Well, don't quote us on that because it was probably wrong. I think wrong. Mike's nodding. So people are nodding. Okay. All if, right, June if Mike 1st. thinks it is. June yeah. 1st will be the final show. Uh, it's a really good thing. We're still going to be doing radio. We just have more opportunities with our Fox show. So we're moving up, yes. which is really good. And it's, hopefully, you know, we can just get more comfortable on a station that has listeners. It's very exciting for uh, <laughs> Luke and Lewis and the show. But it's mm. very sad for our Tesla listeners. Yes. And it's um, sad for our demographic who exclusively amplify the now. Yes. Not the present. Oh, because sorry, not the past or the future. I know, because when you're in the future, you don't really want to listen to FM radio. You pretty much exclusively stick to the digital band. So with if with <laughs> us gone, I mean, the only show you could listen to is Cole's Radio. We so, won't be modern and digital anymore. I mean, you know what? This is going to really cement... Cole's Radio are laughing right now. I know. They're their biggest competitors. They're just laughing, having a great time. They it's love gonna this. It's going to cement their reign but, on hey, top Coles, of the Digital ratings forever. That you're still on digital. We're moving <laughs> off that. Suck it. <laughs> um, but I've just done a bit of Googling, Luke. There is a uh, light at the end of the tunnel for Tesla owners because I've just looked up the used price of a Tesla. Yep. And you can actually get about 120 grand if you sell your Tesla. So... <laughs> Um, so if you do want to sell it, move it to an older car and then you can tune into us on the FM band. Yeah. I mean, even if you've done 60,000 kilometers in your Tesla, you can still get a hundred grand for it and you could buy a couple radios for that and listen to us on Fox. So I think that's a pretty sweet deal. Only two radios for that. Yes. Um, now Lewis, what does this mean for the show? This means that Mm. we want to go out in style. Of course. I mean, and yeah, so we're not joking. There's a lot of fun and games happening in the show. This isn't like a classic radio prank where we're all like, ah, just kidding. It's not... Uh, no, this is... Uh, I mean, that'd this be an awful prank, wouldn't it? I don't think I've ever seen that prank being done. Going where leaving. <laughs> then it doesn't happen. Yeah. Um, but uh, what's the plan for the last show? I mean, it's got to be big. Well, we're already organizing a live show, aren't we? Oh. Why don't we do, why don't we do a live live show? I like this. But uh, does Simo want to get the credit for all the work we've done? That's something on, <laughs> on digital. Yeah, this that's has been what's going to happen. Six month show. We've been doing this since October. Yeah, I don't know if Simo deserves to be in the spotlight on the last night. Well, I would argue that even if we didn't do the live live show, Simo would still take credit because he's been reading the news one day mm, a week for five true. minutes. And yeah. he's been really claiming that. I yeah. followed him on Instagram the other day because I found his Instagram account yeah. and I noticed that our podcast is in his bio. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. It's not his job. And it's not any... He has, speci- a pro- he has a proper job. It's not any specific episode either. It's our entire podcast. <laughs> he's so like, he's already claiming the whole pod- the like, whole show. Just, just go check it out. I'm on frequently. <laughs> but um, all right. So you think we should do the live show on that? I've yeah. got a few ideas if that's there. Okay. I had a couple of ideas that I want to do on the show before it. Um, well, I think if this is going to be the last show, we'll we should about... try start putting some effort into it because previously we were just going to make it awful and blame it on Simo, but now we should try and make it good. What do you okay, think about so that? Okay, so we think a live show. Mm. Well, then in that case, Lewis, mm-hmm. I have an idea. Yes. Of who? Of mm, oh, how do I how do I put this? Of perhaps a guest, a special guest, a special guest that we could maybe try and get on. Yes. Who? All right. Let's do it next. All right. We'll talk about, talk about it next. Have a now. We have something very exciting to say. I'm don't we, Luke? so excited. I've been excited about today's show all week because yes. we've had something planned. Oh, not all week. Okay, all all afternoon. I organised <laughs> this at about one pm this afternoon. Yes, and it's and a big deal. Uh, we are going to call Reese Maston. He's back on the show. Reece Reece Ma- Reece Maston. Well, not yet. Not, not yet. yet. We're not about yet. to give Reese Maston a call. He might pick up. Now, there's we a don't f- know. there's a few things that are exciting about this. One, Guys, we're pretty sure he's free. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's doing sound check, but we're going to attempt to call Reese Maston. Yes. There's a few things that are exciting about this. Mm-hmm. Because firstly, I have Reese Maston's phone number now. That's cool. I don't want to brag, Very but it's cool. happened and it's in my contacts. Yep. And so occasionally I've been like scrolling through all afternoon and I've been trying to flash it in people's faces. Like, yeah. oh yeah, I'll just give Thingle a call. Oh, sorry, I had to say that. that yeah. Th- that's just me and my friend Reese. Yeah. 
But well, um, I've, and the I've second got thing, Reese Maston, even more exciting than I've got Reese Maston in my phone as a mo like with some emojis in his name, just oh. so I know that we're we've got a close bond and we're like personal friends. Right, well, now I'm gonna he's got more mind. emojis than my girlfriend, <laughs> and she's got three. <laughs> <laughs> and the second thing that's exciting about this yes. and the reason why we're calling Reese Masson about mm. to after the break is we have a proposition for him. Yes. People might remember Reese uh, from last year on the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say a social movement happened. Oh, I would yeah. say he became culture. Yeah, it got it got completely out of hand. There was we an official dance. Yeah. There was an official song. It, I mean, and we still end our yeah. show with a Reese Master song. Yeah. It's been almost a year. So we made an official dance for his uh, first ever hit, Good Night, which mm. is where you fist bump in the air, which how Fist Bump Fridays originated on the show. Yes. And then for your birthday surprise, was it birthday or Christmas? Christmas, Christmas surprise, surprise. We had last f- year. The final ever live performance yeah. of Good Night by Reese Masson I organized Reese to come into the studio and that's when we met for the first time. And I would say since then, yep. off air, we don't really talk about it at all. Lewis and I have just stayed in touch with Reese. Like, <laughs> guys, I think we're friends with Reese Masson. We <laughs> chat on the regular. <laughs> we have a group message with him. Yes. And it's something that I would like to talk about more, but I guess never really get the platform or, or the opportunity. <laughs> Yeah, so guys, I think that's really the biggest <laughs> announcement we've ever had on the show. We're kind of friends with Reese Maston now. That's and that's amazing. But um, before we call him, we need to decide one thing, yes. which is since he's been on the show, mm. Reese Maston was on the show in December, but since then he's gone through a bit of an image change. He's, and he's rebranded. He's rebranded and he's changed his stage name to Maston. Yeah, just Ma- no Reese, just he's Maston. dropped the Reese. So Didn't need it now. Luke, we need to figure out when we talk to him on the phone and when we refer to him in the future, what do we call him? Do we call him Reese Maston or do we call him Maston? I think we should call him Maston and respect his rebrand. I think I should call him mm. Reese Maston because we're personal friends now. But everyone else should call him Maston. But he's in my contacts now. Yeah. He's got my number. We're texting today. That's true. If your stage name was something other than Luke, I would still call you Luke because yes. we're friends. It's like our Pink's name is Alicia, I mm. think. But you. So uh, but that's weird. I don't feel comfortable saying. I would. I wouldn't. I'm not even gonna say. But it. I'm only gonna call her Pink. But I don't know her. But the only person who I bet gets their friends to call them the same stage name is Seal. You know, yeah. his friends call him Seal, and he goes, "Excuse me, it's Seal." Yes, definitely. <laughs> his mum calls him Seal. Well, well, I don't know what his actual name is, but uh, here's the thing, though, with with Maston's name, he, it's not only has he changed it to Maston, he's also changed all of the letters in Maston. The case of them, other than the M, they're all uppercase. His whole brand name now is in caps oh, lock. So you have to yell So it. I think you have to call him Maston! Out of respect. Yeah. <laughs> but I would feel weird well, like seeing him. I haven't seen him face to face since the rebrand. I would feel weird walking up to him and being like, hey, Maston! How you going, man? I feel like that'd be a bit intimidating. But maybe that's what he wants. Why yeah. else would he make, use the cables? Well, I think, okay, here's what we do. We give him a call after the break, and the only way we can decide this is if we just ask him. Okay. Oh, we didn't have to okay. talk about this at all. And if and if he <laughs> <laughs> if he wants us to call him Maston, mm-hmm. then let's make him call us and Lewis, and we'll drop the Luke from the show title. Okay, out of respect to us. Well, why don't we? Why Let, let's just rebrand. How come you get to drop your name? Why don't I, why don't we drop both our names and just be called and? Deal. All right. <laughs> he must call us and <laughs> all right. rebranding. It's a smart move. Reese has done it. We're next. All right, we're Sorry, gi- Maston's done it. I don't know what to call him. We'll ask him next. We're going to give him a call. This is and on Triple M <laughs> Digital. <laughs> And on Triple M Modern Digital. We're back. Jeez, that sounds like the start of a sentence, doesn't it? And on Triple M Modern well, you Digital. You just said, and we're, it's like you just meant to say, and we're back on Triple M Modern Digital. I know. I don't know if this rebrand is very good. I mean, people use and all the time. Maybe we should rebrand to Luke Lewis, but then we'd mm. be like the rugby player. That's the player. rugby player. Why don't we rebrand from and to Luke and Lewis? Yeah, let's rebrand back to the regular okay. thing. Okay, give me a I was starting it. Yeah. It's Luke and Lewis on AAA Modern Digital. Jeez, that sounds good. Why don't we change? It's way better. <laughs> now, the time has come. If you've just tuned in, you've tuned in at a great time. Yes. Radio. We've just rebranded. It's a whole new show. <laughs> well, I was about to say what we're doing next is even better than us Oh, rebranding. yeah, way better than the double rebrand. We're about to call friend of the show, Reese Maston. Alternatively known as Maston or just... Massive. Well, we're about to ask him what he wants to be called, but we have a proposition for Reese involving mm. the last ever show on Triple M Modern Digital. Yes. I guess, Mike, the time has come. Let's put in the number now. Because we don't even know he's going to pick up. This is what the drone is for. This, yeah. The suspense is we're not sure if we're actually mates with him. This will determine it. 
Hello. Race. Hey, mate. How what? you going? Going on, boys. <laughs> oh, very familiar. I like it. How you going, mate? Yeah, not too bad. Just chilling. Just hanging at home. I've got to go pick the missus up soon because I didn't pick her up yesterday. I went to the pub and she's pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> we have a question before we start this conversation. Yeah. Well, you, you have rebranded from Reese Maston to Maston in all have, capitals. Yeah. What do what do we call you? Because I'm you can thinking, call me Reece. please call me Reese. That's okay. what I said. I said because we're one personal one. friends now. Would you agree? Yeah, I would say so. Correct. I'd like to think so. Yes. Big win for the show. Which means it's okay for us to call you Reese, but would you prefer everyone else, the wider community, to call you Maston? Nah, this bloke interviewed me the other day, and it was so awkward. Halfway through, I had to be like, dude. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> just call me Reese, please. Right. So you're you're rebranding back from the rebrand just to Reese Mastin. Yeah. yeah is, is, this, is this you <laughs> regretting the rebranding or just you don't like it just in a, in a conversational format? No, I like the rebrand because then people people ask me why and then I can explain, you know, and mm. instead of everybody just like assuming that we're going to, you know, sing exactly what we yeah, sang, right. you know, you know yeah. seven years ago. But at the same time, it's still awkward. It's like, you know, if my mum was calling me Maston, it'd be real weird. Yeah, 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 that's true. Well, that saves the whole debate because it is in all caps. I was then going to ask you, do we just say Maston regularly or do we scream Maston because it's in all caps? I prefer to be screamed. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Good to know, mate. All right, um, time for our proposition. So the reason why we called you is we have a proposition race involving oh, yeah. the last show on Triple M Modern Digital. Now, we you have a show coming up at Max Watts in Melbourne. Is that correct? On the 27th that, of correct. May. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And I we guess... Un- we understand that you want to plug... Your live show, which happens on the 27th of May in Max Watts in Melbourne. You Tickets want to plug... available at maxwatts.com. I haven't looked that up. No. But, anyway. <laughs> but you, you want to plug that on our show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. That's the semi reason for the call. I did want to just catch up, but you know. May yeah. As well. You, you know? are using us a little bit. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a little bit. Un- well, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, Reese, we do have a rule on our show which all plugs must be earned. We don't just okay. give away plugs for nothing. Right. right so on. we were thinking. For you to earn a plug on our show, we will exchange that for a live performance from Reese Maston at the final Triple M Modern Digital show. What say oh, you? Yeah, any day, any day. I'm there. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm there. There. Good, good night this time. Or... Well, it's up to you. You said oh, the last you show said was, was the final performance. Only you can change that. <laughs> We'll see what we'll see what happens. See if we got some resurrection stones or something. Oh, <laughs> I'm smelling encore. <laughs> <laughs> all right, mate. Well, we'll uh, we'll be in touch and we'll get we'll get um, it all locked in. Now, Reese, we, I'm shocked. We probably should say at this point in time that we are planning. Well, not planning. Hoping to have a live event. In saying this, this has all happened very quickly just today. Yes, and we haven't got a venue locked in. So Matt, I, will, I will help you find a venue. I will. I will make. Oh, you've got contacts in the music industry, don't you? I got contacts. I got contacts. Okay. Oh, well, why don't I'll you just organise the whole thing and get back to us? Could you organise just a performance <laughs> fee for us as well? That'd be great. Yeah. Uh, look, if uh, you get performance fee, let's just say fifty grand, and yep, then yep. you know I'll take the door, and then we'll just go. <laughs> great. I don't know how many people you're expecting to pull. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um. So yeah. We, there's no venue locked in as of yet, but we're working on that. We'll have a chat off air about that, perhaps. Yes, and then, right. But if we can't get a venue, we'll definitely still be doing a last show in studio or at the station or something like that. Mm. Uh, something will happen where there'll be a live performance, and we can't wait to have you there. In saying that, we would love to cordially invite you now on Sunday's Fox FM show to plug your show for about oh, yeah. five to ten minutes, if you want. Oh, there you- Oh, I would love that. Congratulations as well, by the way. And also, oh, thank you very much. Uh, but with condition on the rule, every time we did agree on this, you must be wearing a suit. A suit? Are yeah. you wearing a suit? Well, last year we suited up, so yes. yeah, we're You're planning on doing it again this time because you were sweating through yours last time. I was there. Yeah, uh, yes, I was. It was very hot, so we'll have we'll have a sauna. Last time it was studio. in like December. This time it's uh, nice suit weather. Mm. All right. Well, I'll bring the suit. I might have to buy a new one because I've been on the frothies, so. <laughs> This one might uh, stretch a little bit. I'd expect nothing less. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Thanks very much for joining us. Our now official friend of the show. I mean, was already friend, but I would say now best friend of the show. Yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. I've taken the cake. Yep. I mean, no one else was competing, but it's great to have you on board. (laughs) (laughs) Our first and only friend. Thank you very much, Reese. We'll talk to you soon. We'll see you Sunday. Bye. There you go.
We are talking about our live show. Well, Simo's live show that we'll be appearing at. Yes, and um, I guess we've kind of come up with the idea today that perhaps Simo's live event should be the last modern digital show. Yes, perhaps because should... we're leaving modern digital yeah. and we thought, what better way to farewell modern digital than having by... a beer with my mate? <laughs> Well, yeah, in front of an incredibly small audience, which yeah. is really representative of the entire station yeah, here at Triple M Modern Digital. Well, it's just a real Tesla crowd, and they didn't make many models of the Tesla. So <laughs> exactly. So everyone who's there is going to obviously own one. How else have they heard this show? I mean, getting 50 people in the room, that's thats like all of the listeners and a f- couple friends who've never heard of the show. Yeah. <laughs> um. So we thought we want to do an update on the petition. Yesterday, we uh, yeah. set Simo a challenge to say, hey, if you want this show to go ahead, we need a guarantee that people are interested in us putting on any sort of show. Yesterday, we didn't even know what the show was. We were mm. like, yeah, we might do a live radio show, but we, all we need to know is that there's a level of public interest. So we set similar challenge to get 200 signatures by tomorrow's show on Friday. Which he said would be very, very easy. Yes. And we've got Simo on the line. Simo, welcome to the show. Thanks, boys. How are we going? Yeah, we're doing well, man. How are you feeling? Pretty confident, actually. Well, right. so, I don't know if you've checked the petition. Have you checked the petition? <laughs> <laughs> I have. Uh, no, just overnight we racked up about seventy. So it's uh, currently on eighty-eight. Ooh, all right. So it slowed up a little bit during the day. It yeah, has. Right. Um, May I, I remind don't you, lie, you were refreshing that every ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> May I remind you that eighty-eight is not even half of two hundred. So we're very far away. And the and the deadline is very soon. So do you still think we can get the two hundred? Well, oh, hang on. What's the deadline? Well, the deadline was supposed to be tomorrow's show on Simo's Weekly Wrap, but oh, right. we thought perhaps this was a little bit unfair, considering a lot of the podcasters are maybe a week behind. People are busy, you know. We're, we're not go- everyone yeah. has a Tesla, so not yeah. everyone listens live. Most people do the podcast, and they're generally uh, a couple of days behind because people like to catch yeah. up. I mean, really, Simo, we offered you the chance to lower it from 200 to 100, and you said no. Yes. Yeah, so hey, how do you feel about it? We wouldn't have to have this call if you agreed to our offer of halving it. How do you feel about that? You never actually offered to halve it, but you know what? I didn't need it, because we're going to get there, and uh, we'll be right. Well, so what, what, what are you offering me now? We want sort of leniency? We want you... We're pretty much just like your teachers, where we feel bad for you, and we're giving mm. you an extension, <laughs> all right, on your assignment, till next Wednesday, there for a whole week to get the signatures. Oh, Do you reckon you can get really? another 112 signatures in a week? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you're gonna have to I mean, go what, door Do you knocking. want me to get 500 by then? No, no, stop making it harder for yourself, <laughs> mate. Just stick with 200. It'll and be a miracle if you get 200 people. And you know oh. what, man? We don't even think you can get 200. We weren't very confident in it. So not only are we giving you an extension, we've but thrown you another bone yes. behind your back. We've gone behind your back, and uh, we've organised something very special for the final show. Would you like to know what we've done? Yeah, absolutely. So, obviously, you're probably thinking, oh, yeah, Luke, Lewis, you know, Radio Mike being there, Simo, I guess, you know, not a, not a lot of star power there yet. Would you agree? Perhaps we could use a celebrity at the event? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm holding you guys up, obviously. Yeah. Well, no, that's what we're saying. We are not yeah, celebrities. So you are not also, just to <laughs> clarify that. So everyone's across that. There's some confusion with the, in your own ego. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah. You're, you're one step below us. So if we're celebrities, yeah. I mean, you're not being great, man. <laughs> yeah. How would you... Okay, do you think we've gone and organised a celebrity guest for to be at this live show if it goes oh, ahead, crap. if you get the signatures? Yeah. Do you have any guesses? What, in mind? Yes. yes. Who would you like to see? What level of celebrity would you like to see at this event? Oh. Because we can double it. Well, you know, given that it's like a bit of a radio stunt kind of thing, mm-hmm. and um, you guys got a mention on their podcast last week, what about uh, the the old boys, Hamish and Andy or something like that? Hmm. Mm. We can triple that. Easily. We've I mean, gone bigger. We've bigger gone bigger. That. Much bigger than that, mate. Think, think oh, musical. Yeah. Think big. Musical. Musical? We've got comedy. We've got oh. that sorted. Oh, no. Yes. 
<laughs> We've got Reese Maston. <laughs> Reese Maston is locked in. We've already spoken to him. He's confirmed live on radio that he's going to be performing at our final show. How do you feel, Simo? Oh, we could get a thousand people sign it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I we... think we need to change the petition name to last fi- last Luke and Lewis, like last final modern digital show, yep. Luke and Lewis, featuring and then Reece featuring Reese Maston, and then in brackets, and Simo. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, great. <laughs> I like it. Let's do it. All right. Let's get those signatures. If you haven't signed up, and the, obviously now everyone's going to want to be there. Yeah. And also for this event, obviously, yes, the four VIP tickets will still be available. Now, Simo, there's a lot of hype at the moment. There's a lot of excitement in the studio. Mm -hmm. We should probably tell you we still haven't locked in a venue. We don't know where we're going to be doing this. (laughs) Yeah, so it could be at a a theatre, could be around the corner in an alley. could be at your house. We'll see. Well... (laughs) Um, and I just have one final question for you, Simo. Seeing as now a real celebrity is coming, uh, Reese Maston, he is not charging meet and greets. He said he'd, he's going to meet everyone. Do you still think <laughs> that now that it's me, Luke, Reese Maston, and Radio Mike, you can meet for free, do you still think people are going to pay $100 to meet you? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. As soon as I heard races coming on, I was like, oh, crap, we can charge more for the VIP tickets. <laughs> <laughs> You're a businessman. Oh, I think now people are going to want to pay 200 to meet Simo. Guys, tickets are $1,000, so you can't come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, mate. We're going to organize a venue, and we'll get back to you, and uh, we'll organize the final show. If you want to check out the petition, guys, it's on our Facebook uh, and our Instagram as well. Just check it out there. Lewis, it's... A big day today. Lots of things have happened on the show. Mm. And yeah, I, mean, I can't keep I'm, track of everything Yeah, that's I mean, happened. we've announced that we're leaving Modern Digital. Reese Maston's coming on the last show. I, it's hard to keep up at this point. Well, if anything else happens, I'm going to faint. Well, something's about to happen, so get ready to oh. completely black out. I think you're going to faint. <laughs> Lewis. Yes? Actually, I should, I should probably turn this to Radio Mike. Radio Mike. Oh, yeah. Turn your, turn, your, turn your microphone on. Yes. Check the date on your phone today. Oh, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> 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 the 17th of May. Yes. And what was what happening on the 17th of May? Head circumference day. Yep. Mm. The day has come. It kind of creeped up on us. I forgot about it. You I didn't be- forget. I was waiting for you guys to You, d- no, you did you, forget. You forgot. No, I actually didn't. I came in today. I'm like, oh, today's that head thing, but I don't want to bring it up just in case they don't want to do it. What? You're not confident about your head? No, I know that my head's decreased in circumference. If you don't know, guys, <laughs> Radio Mike thinks he has a big head. Uh, well, everyone knows it. Everyone else thinks it too, but he's <laughs> trying to make his head smaller and he's gone on a head diet for about a month now. It's been three weeks. He had three weeks to slim his head. In particular, he wanted to tone his cheekbones to look good in tagged photos on Facebook. Yes. yes. Now, now, have you been tagged in any photos recently? I actually haven't. Well, should we take a photo today if you're under and then tag you? Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. fine. Okay. Now, okay, cool. the most recent development on this head diet is Mike came in one day with a new haircut and he said, man, my head looks so much smaller but in reality, he had just si- he just shaved the sides of his hair. Yeah. It was his <laughs> hair. So we're going to test that theory. Is his head actually yeah. smaller or, or he, did he just get a yeah. hair cut? Has he just been on a hair diet? So Mike, uh, there's a microphone around this side of the desk. Come yeah. around from the regular buttons. All right. I'm just going to put my jacket on for the photo. <laughs> we're Mate. not taking the photo now. You don't have to oh, look good. It's yeah. radio. What are you doing? What does the jacket have to do with your head, man? Just take it off. You got it at cotton on. It's not cool. <laughs> I can't believe he wants to look cool in an audio medium. <laughs> I've never met. Now, we haven't got a uh, a tape measure, but I've, I've found this ribbon here and I've marked the 58 centimeter mark, which is the goal you were trying to beat. Is that correct? I don't remember. It's I, a show. I, yeah, it was. I think I was 58 back. It was 58 centimeters. Yeah. So this around, if, I guess if it overlaps, then your head's gotten smaller. Yes. Um, Have you marked it or are you just using your fingers? No, I marked it here. Okay, good. All right, so uh, Luke's getting up now and he's wrapping the ribbon around Mike's massive melon. <laughs> Jeez, I think you're going to need more ribbon. And uh, where are we, Luke? Going down the, below the stash is where I went last time. Yep. This is such. This is not a scientific way of measuring heads. It's like around the back of the head and then under the nose for some reason, but including the ears. Come on, man. What's? It's slimmer. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Uh, maybe like just half a centimeter, not much. Well, that'd be his hair. It's noticeably slimmer. That's not my hair. I told you I've been doing head exercises. No, nah, I put it pretty Name tight. Name a head exercise. Running. 
Yeah. The, I've been going to the gym a bit. Yeah, you've been running on your face. No, but it's all it all adds up. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. My mistake. Well done, mate. Thank you. You've done it. Don't Thanks. shake my. Okay, I guess <laughs> I'll shake your hand. I'll shake Congrats. Your hands. Thanks, I mean, guys. not often do you shake your male friend's hand on a beauty achievement, but hey, I'm happy to be that friend for you. And I and guess perhaps walk around to the other side because otherwise we can't can go I to the Can I just say, this yeah. head is going to keep on slimming. I'm not done. So. What, you're wow. Gonna, you're just going to disappear. You're going to turn <laughs> into a pinhead. He's just going to evaporate eventually. <laughs> well, congr- Is that the goal? Just to no longer exist? Have no head. I mean... Yeah, I mean, no. It's well, better no. than looking like human Shrek. I just think, <laughs> Wait, you know, so that means, well, I, so congratulations on your medium melon, but now you. you want a small one. No, I think that... I think uh, you look good with a medium head, man. I just think there's always work to be done, guys. So let's hey, all keep it you up. You should try and get a six pack on your forehead. <laughs> you can't knock that attitude. You dare to dream. All right? <laughs> guys, anything is possible. <laughs> it's Luca Lewis. Guys, you're going to be excited about this. We've been told to read out some advertising about the Arctic Monkeys album, guys. Would Would you like to me to read the script or you? Well, last time I read the script, can we get the Arctic Monkeys in here to read it? Because I don't really care. I think last time we were given the script on Modern Digital, we were also given an official warning after I read it out. So yes. maybe, all right, maybe I'll give it a go it. then. Yeah, I can't be trusted. For your chance to win a vinyl merch pack. From the Arctic Monkeys, that's Ooh. the band that was just playing, they're great. Yep. Hit us up online at Triple M Modern, and then it's actually written the words dot com dot au. <laughs> oh, yep. They didn't just write the website. <laughs> oh, wait, they wrote. They wrote dot com, like D O T. Okay, and what's then the rest? I'm Tranquility, excited. Tranquility, oh, yeah, so. Uh, Tranquility Hotel Base and Casino and Casino is out now. I'm no, sure it's that's... Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino. Don't get me to got read. It wrong. Mate, yeah. the last book I read was Speck and McGee. All right, I'll read the rest <laughs> of it. Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino is playing in full from 10 p.m. tonight on Thursday on Triple M. Hang on, isn't today Friday? Wait, I don't have that bit of the script. Oh, what script I do. are you reading? Hang on. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Trip, Why tra- didn't they send me the script? Let me they finish. Only, hang They've on. told us. <laughs> they, only, they only trusted me with half the script. Well, I've got the second half, all right? Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino is playing in full from 10 p.m. tonight, Thursday on Triple M Modern Digital. So, guys, if you don't use Spotify or Apple Music or Tidal or SoundCloud <laughs> or any other music streaming service and you'd like to listen to the Arctic Monkeys exclusively at 10 p.m. mixed in with some ads, Modern Digital... <laughs> Is where it's at. Also, if you're in a Tesla, because digital radios are difficult to listen to. But guys, uh, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the end of the show. And I don't think any warnings are going to be coming in off that. No, I'd, I, I'd be happy with that. If I was the way, Arctic Monkeys, I'd be stoked. No, there's another script. I'd so, be the st- really hot monkeys. There's one we're supposed to do about uh, Queens of the Stone Age that I'll quickly run off because we're supposed to do this once a show. Uh, oh. For your chance to win free tickets to the Queens of the Stone Age uh, live, hit mm-hmm. us up online at triplem.com.au. They've written it again okay great is that it is that it yeah that's it i think cool. all right guys we've sold out that's the end of the show we sold out we're making heaps of money from that and you know what i would say so are the arctic monkeys <laughs> well, we'll, we'll talk if to they're you making the same amount of money as us they are in the financial trouble <laughs> <laughs> all right that's the end of the show guys it's luke lewis we'll talk to you tomorrow